what's going on youtube it's double d here just riding around enjoying this nice early morning before it gets too dang hot just wanted to come out with a little video today to talk about can you work on a motorcycle and i hear it a lot of people asking the question you know how did i get started why did i you know why do i do what i do and why don't i take it to the dealer well i'll get into that I believe anybody can work on a bike if you can a follow directions and b read c watch a video a youtube video or a how-to whatever wherever you get your videos so a lot of the things that i've done to this bike i have looked at youtube videos i've read the service manual i've read the owner's manual and i've read the climb climber magazine i believe is what it is but if i could be wrong pronouncing it wrong but i'll put pictures of this stuff right here um, and those books help you out tremendously and I think that is the big key to working on your own bike you got to have at least one of these books the service manual and the uh, climber magazine or book those will tell you how to do the job the right way to do the job and give you little tips and tricks in some of the books like the service manual is more detailed like you got to know how to do this to do this is kind of thing where you know you got to know how to take the front wheel off to change a bearing but you can go through the reference of the points of the book saying okay remove front wheel full bearings all that kind of stuff I believe the climber i haven't really paid too close attention to that but i believe they start you off from taking the wheel off to doing this to the next step to the next step but i could be completely wrong but you know it's one of those things you need these two books i have both i haven't even opened the climber because i just got it not too long ago just to see what they say in the book because i've been using the service manual for so long and you can get the service manual online you can buy it from the dealer you can get it off of ebay you i mean there's places you can get them and a lot of times you can find them pretty cheap because the dealer they charge you quite a bit but you know if you want a brand new one buy it at the dealer so i mean you can probably even find brand one new ones on, brand new ones on ebay but i haven't i didn't look for mine i actually found mine online and it had to download it through a reputable site because some of those sites i've noticed and heard stories that people will download the service manual and they'll be missing you know five or six pages important pages or they'll be all out of order and the uh, uh, the copy is horrible so but to the question, can you work on your own bike? I believe you can. You can do it! Certain things I wouldn't recommend messing with, let the professionals do that kind of stuff. But if you're mechanically inclined where you believe you can take a whole motor apart and rebuild it, go right ahead by all means, man. I mean, that's great. Now I can do, I would say 99% of all my basic maintenance on here without any you know help or having to read the manuals or anything like that just because i've been doing it so long now one book that i just recently found out about which i think is kind of cool it's called a torque book and it gives you all the torque books i'll put a picture of it right here it gives you all the torque specifications for the particular year of your bike and all, throughout the years and it's like the main torque specs for wheels and all that kind of stuff and i was like oh that's kind of cool now i haven't found one yet for my bike to you know go ahead pick one up or whatever but I just think that is really cool i've never i mean because that's half the time i'm looking at the books like oh what is that torque spec 50 or 40 or 30 i don't know off the top of my head because you know i don't work on a bike daily so that's one of the things it's like oh it's just a quick reference book and so what i had did prior to that before i knew about this book was i went ahead and copied off the just the torque specs that's in the back of the service manual and have that as like a little quick reference guide i can go through and check real quick but I mean that's kind of what i do i wanted to see what this torque book looked like so i can say yep it's worth it but if you have basic hand tools you can do i would say 75 percent of the maintenance on your bike because i mean you just need a you know a wrench a socket a drain pan and i mean that kind of stuff and you have to buy some like specialty tools for certain things but if you're riding this bike the amount of money if you buy the tools yourself you will save so much money in the long run you know and if you don't feel comfortable doing it take it to the dealer by all means i'm not going to sit there and say oh you're a you're a little baby because you can't work on your bike dude that is on you 100 now 
if I mess up my bike, I mess up my bike and it's my responsibility A, take it to the dealer or B, fix it. So, I mean, that's take it with that with a grain of salt. But I believe a lot of people could save a bunch of money if they would just do their maintenance themselves. You know, I mean, just the oil change alone will save you a bunch of money. Because I've noticed that a lot of the guys are taking their stuff to the dealer to get the oil change in the 5K service. And if you ever look at a 5K service, a lot of the stuff or 15 or whatever, it's really simple. You just got to go through the check mark or the checkbook and the service manual tells you, even the owner's manual has a little, you know, 5K, 10K, 15K, all the way up to like, I believe 80,000 miles on some bikes. And you just, just follow the check marks. And if there's something in that check mark you can't do, take it to the dealer or go watch a YouTube video or get read the service manual and be like, mm, maybe I can do that. Because a lot of the times they will step by step you, get you through what to do, how to do it, and it's actually pretty simple. And I was like pretty shocked in how very detailed the service manual was when I first opened one up after I had done some things on the bike. And I'm like, you know what, I think I should get one of these. And I'm trying to do the how-to videos as well where you can watch those and do, you know, learn from me or learn from my mistakes at that. I mean, I am not a licensed mechanic by any means. Um, I just... I like working on my bikes. I like working on my cars. I've been, I've worked at a car dealership when I was really young, 18 to 20. And I say really young, it's not like it was that long ago. So the question is, can you work on your bike yourself? That's on you. You have to decide if it's worth your, you know, your patience to buy the tools if you don't have the tools. And a lot of people already have the tools so they will just use what they got and you don't need a whole lot i mean you probably just need i would say a couple hundred dollars worth of tools but that'll be your first oil change first service that you would save on and spend three hundred dollars three i think it was like almost 400 bucks for a 5k or another 10k service at the dealer and i spent 200 dollars in parts and probably another 50 for fluids and you know a couple other little accessories or whatever parts or whatever for the oil change and the lube and stuff and it was like i just saved myself 300 bucks easy each time i do this you know the tools they're not one time use only so you can use them as long as you want but my thing is if you don't feel comfortable don't do it if you feel comfortable then do it i mean there's no there's nothing overly complicated in the maintenance you know that is that is the big thing there's nothing overly complicated you know if you can follow the instructions pay attention and follow a couple key videos you can do damn near anything so I mean and that's my answer to the question I, I don't know you know your expertise in handling tools and whatnot and so I will say that I have some friends that I wouldn't trust with a screwdriver but they're good at something else and those are the kind of the guys that'll they'll take their bikes to the dealer or they'll bring their bikes to me and i'll change the oil and stuff like that because it's not a big deal to me now some bikes are harder than others and that's just that is how it is i mean i know like a gold wing you got to take all the pair the panels and fairings and stuff off and the same thing with the sport bikes you got to take all that stuff off so but that's my two cents if you got any questions comments put them down below make sure you like comment and subscribe so we'll catch you on the next one guys remember ride safe and let's have some fun later you can do